Okay, if you want to cut your hair, first thing is, don't do it in the living room because hair is just going to get everywhere. Instead, you should be doing this in the bathroom. And speaking of hair getting everywhere, you should probably also be naked. Do I wear boxers or briefs? Neither! Boxer briefs! Uh, also, if you have glasses, you should take them off because it makes it a little bit harder to cut your hair with them on. Although it's harder to see with them. Fortunately, I have contacts. And you'll also need a good pair of scissors and a pair of clipper type things and optionally a mirror. Oh hey, this is what you look like. Ooh. So I'm going to start by using the clippers to kind of shave off the sides a little bit. I have this little attachment type thing which has this angle so that I can have it shorter on one side and longer in the other. Just make sure that you keep it the same direction the whole way around, otherwise if you get mixed up it'll be weird. So here goes! Ah, first cut's the hardest. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now that the sides have been shaved, I kind of got to figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of it. Um, maybe kind of short here, kind of a little bit more medium to longer here, something like that. And in general, it it's probably a good idea to start more conservatively and then work your way down. Oh, is that too much? Ah, I can always go shorter. Ah, that's kind of interesting. Ah, hmm. Okay, I think a little bit long on this side. Maybe shorter on this side. Yeah, maybe shave this down to about here or something. And then have it kind of fold over to that side. Yeah, okay. And if you're cutting your hair short, it generally helps to have it wet so you get a sense of what direction it's gonna go in. Ugh, oh my god, hair everywhere. So what I'm generally doing is just kind of lifting up the hair and then cutting off the parts that stick out way too much. Like here, okay, that's way longer than the, the pieces that are next to it. And like that, okay, that's way longer than everything next to it. And you just keep on doing that over and over. And that'll kind of give you a smoothly varying length hair as opposed to just like this one piece that's just sticking out really long. Sometimes you'll want to have a hairstyle that actually does vary dramatically, like in length, but in general I think it's good to have it kind of smoothly go from one length to the next. Okay, so I've noticed that the part where I cut short tends to fall like this way, and then the part that I have long just kind of goes like that. And so there's a pretty sharp divide in the middle, which is not great. So I think what I'm going to do is either put in a lot of product or start cutting this other part a little bit shorter as well. Let's see. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe that's okay if I just push it over this way. Uh, yeah, that's all right. I wonder if I can get this part here, which I've cut, to kind of match with the part that I've shaved. It's going to be tricky, but it might look interesting. Eh, if it goes really bad, I'll just shave it off. Yeah, that's another important thing. If you're cutting your own hair, you sort of have to be okay with the idea of shaving it all off. Because sometimes you will make mistakes, and the way you cover up mistakes is just by going shorter. Of course, there's a limit to how short you can go. But as long as you're okay with being bald at some point, it's not so bad. Let's see if we can get the side to match a little bit more. Hmm. Okay. So, this part sticks way up, and then this part goes way down, so I think I'm going to have to do something about that. Let's see. Well, actually, it doesn't look so bad if I just comb it over. Yeah. I think it's mostly because there was already that strong part there before. Alright, so now I'm just going to even all of this out. It's getting there. So the other thing that happens is, if you do this for a while, you just sort of start cutting your hair by feel. And you just kind of can tell where the hair is longer than the other hair with just your fingers. And you just kind of use the scissors to cut off the excess. Uh, you do have to be careful not to cut your fingers, though. I've done that a couple of times. Uh, 
hardest part about cutting Asian hair is that it's very thick and it's very dark. And so it's really hard to see sometimes. So the reason I've been cutting my own hair for a while is that once I went to Supercuts and they basically just gave me a bowl cut, which is like stick a bowl on your head and shave you all the way around. Well, not literally, but it looked like that. And I was like, oh man, I could do better than that. And usually I do, not always, but it's always interesting. So another important thing is to kind of understand which way your hair grain grows. So like my hair, for example, has a spiral like right around here and then it tends to go, I think, in this direction, something like that. So you kind of want to have your hair cut, take that into account. And that's why I've got like this cowlick right here because it's going up this way and then down that way. So I've either got to cut it much shorter, or make it much longer, something, yeah. So. I think I'll go a little shorter. Yeah, ah, I think, yeah, I think that's about right. And hopefully after a shower and some putting some product in it, it'll look good. Uh, I was like, oh my gosh, wow. That is a lot of hair. I mean, that kind of looks like a, I don't know, pink hair dribble thing. Oh, ooh, disturbing. Okay, let's see what it looks like after the shower. Okay, so there it is. That's kind of what the hair looks like with the product and the shampooing and all that stuff. Yeah, so hopefully it turned out okay, I guess. Yeah, um, I guess the most important thing to remember when cutting your own hair is, you know, have fun with it. Um, and don't worry, you know, you can always go shorter and even if you totally mess up, it'll eventually grow back. Unless you have alopecia or something like that, in which case it won't. Um, but other than that, yeah, it'll, you know, it'll all work out fine. It'll look great. Yeah, okay. See ya!